Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene, the people that make it, and the whiskey that makes it sound better. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing 80 proof Shinju Japanese whiskey, which I found at the Artisan Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Translated to Pearl from its native Japanese and born from the famous Mount Fuji's pristine water, Shinju is double distilled and crafted by blending four distinct whiskey expressions. It's aged anywhere from two to four years in mature white oak barrels for a rich caramel color and unique flavor profile. Per the company's website, it is the perfect Japanese whiskey for cocktails. The real question, however, is how does it taste with sushi? To answer my question from the intro, I don't know. I was in a bar inside a hotel when I tried it, and... All that was open for food at the time was the snack machines, and I am not trying sushi from a snack machine. Seriously though, I'd be interested in trying Japanese whiskey with sushi as a pairing. Note to self. Even though it's designed with cocktails in mind, I tried it neat and on the rocks. On the nose, there were hints of honey, orange, and vanilla, along with herbaceous and light oak notes. On the tongue, the nose notes increase, but smoothly. Everything is balanced and non-threatening, but also not boring. The finish is also smooth and lingering in a way that makes you want another glass of the stuff. Overall, Shinju Japanese whiskey is smooth and enjoyable from start to finish. It's a great base for cocktails or neat, and I can see myself picking up a bottle of it for enjoying with my friends and family, or, you know, just by myself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think of Shinju Japanese whiskey, or any Japanese whiskey. Also, if you have any suggestions for me of other whiskeys I should try, hit me up there as well. Uh, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there in the corner. And if you'd like to subscribe, it would really mean the world to me. Please click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. You know the drill. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.